Ciao, I am M and this is F and this is our HyperSmart Colorblind Artificial Intelligence Jarvis. We met in Milano during our studies, moved to Germany for work, married back in Italy last year and are now on a quest to slow travel to all 27 European countries. Like many others, our life plans got scrapped by 2020. However, being forced to hang out near home made us realize how many interesting and amazing things are just a short drive away, ready to be explored. In fact, in our last video, we walked around Olympia Park and showed you how to charge an electric car for free at the BMW headquarters in Munich. Today, we'll take you to a lovely picnic on the shores of Fellmockinger Lake and if we'll find some apples, Effe will show you how to bake a sweet treat. Hi there, today is Sunday, we are home in Munich, so I think it's time for a bike ride. Are you coming with us? Regardless of how much we may love getting around with Jarvis, our Tesla Model 3, the best way to move around Munich by far is without a doubt a bike. Cycling in Munich accounts for 18% of all traffic in the German city, the leading figure in Germany, and as a result Munich named itself Germany's Radhauptstadt or bicycle capital. And actually, 80% of the population of Munich already owns a bicycle. In the last decade, more than 32 million euros were spent on new infrastructure to expand Munich's cycling network, including bicycle parking, bike lanes, new green and white signs where destinations and distances are clearly marked, and of course, bike sharing. Munich's cycling network totals more than 1,200 kilometers, or 750 miles, in length a figure more than 50% of the total length of Munich's road network for cars. That's really a lot. Today we are biking to Feldmockingersee, which is a lake nearby our place. As you can see, we are biking through the city and now we are kind of already outside of the city and you can see there are all like autumnal trees around us. And yeah, we are passing over a railway and we need to pedal to bike another, I don't know, eight kilometers, I'll say, to go to the lake. And this will be amazing, so join us, come with us. seems that we are on the right path because we changed for another road compared to what we knew but so we are trying to reach this lake that it's not far from our home it's called Fellmockinger say and by the traffic of bikes we should be on the right path definitely and behind us the tower of Munich can you see it maybe not because the GoPro is quite wide but let's go on maybe we will find this sea this sea no this lake <laughs> because see is lake in german not sea sea is mer anyway but although the majority of bavaria's large lakes like ammersee stambergersee and kimse lays outside of munich the city has some beautiful lakes and rivers too Covering an area of 165 square meters, the Feldmockinger See is the largest with three fresh water springs inside, meaning its water is super clean and crystal clear. 
It offers a big new area, beach volley cards, table tennis, sandboxes for kids, two kiosks, a inn, well-kept showers, and plenty of parking available. Sandwich is really good and there are plenty of such lakes around Munich. It's very cool if you have some hours free or during the weekend to so just bike here, have a picnic. It's very hygge. 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 But this is just a possibility. There are plenty more lakes. So we finish our sandwich. Now we chill here a bit and then we go down there. There's supposed to be an apple tree and if we are going to find some apples then we will use it for an apple pie. What's up? Mm, we ate our lunch with a beautiful lake view and now we want to do a full tour of the lake because I want to see if there is an apple tree I read somewhere that here there is a, an actual like free apple tree so <laughs> it means that you can actually pick your apples if there are some left because I suppose there was like a lot of apple picking during this week. Mm. If we find a, an apple or two, maybe we can bake something. Maybe. I hope so. So let's go. That would be an idea to have a new playlist in the vlog with your receipts. Mm. Why not? Apple is a, like a pro cooker. <laughs> I'm not, but That's I like your, cooking. You are a pro cook. Mm -mm. Semi pro. So. So first the apple tree and then we do a do the full round about how to say it in English. All around the lake we turn around. Let's go. Never leave trash behind. found absolutely no apples at all the tree was not there or was there but we did not recognize it luckily we got some apples at home so maybe we can anyway show you the worst things after apple pie seeds <laughs> Every fall afternoon is a good afternoon for an apple cake. I 
I don't know about you, but in my family, apple cakes are a big deal, and this is one of my grandma's treasure. A simple recipe with few ingredients and a lot of love. First, peel the apple. Even better if you find yourself a caring helper like Emma. Then, cut and dice them. Don't be too accurate with this, they soft up beautifully anyway. Set aside. Squeeze a little lemon on top so they don't get brown. Mix together 180 grams of melted butter and 200 grams of sugar. Then add 4 egg yolks, 140 grams of flour, 1 teaspoon of baking powder, 1 teaspoon vanilla and a pinch of salt. Whisk the whites with a stand mixer until firm. Marry the two together with delicate movements not to deflate the mixture. Add a little bit of lemon zest. And finally, add your apples. Or the other way around if you like me, have a small bowl. And put the butter into a lined baking dish. Smooth off the top and add a little bit of sugar. Bake at 160 degrees Celsius for roughly one hour. Pass it and warm right out of the oven. The cake is finally out of the oven and it smells 
Ah, delicious. We hope you enjoyed our video and my grandma's recipe. So give it a try and let us know if you like it. Now we will try it. Go big or go home. We are home. Hai stato bene? No. Oddio, ho spero messo questa parte. Enjoy! So, I hope you followed along the receipt of F and now you can enjoy the cake with us. Cheers! Mmm! Mm. What I really like about this cake is how big the apple chunks are. And it gets super creamy and with a sugar crust on top. Oh, delicious. Yes, the flavor is amazing. It tastes really good. Not too sweet, not too sour. Mm -mm. So if you like this cake or our video or both, <laughs> ideally. Ideally. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can click the small button with the thumbs up below and subscribe, and subscribe the to subscribe. the channel. <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed this cake, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel to see more videos about our daily trips in Munich, recipes and much more. <laughs> Stay tuned for our next road trip. We will see you in two weeks on Monday evening. Bye! And we will be fat and mm -hmm. happy. Especially happy and slightly fat. Bye, vlog. Vlog! Ah! Non so cosa dire. I don't know what to say. Ah! Puppa! Puppa! <laughs> Hi there.